like it. Oh God. <laughs> How to hook up your throttle and bypass the governor on an opposed twin rigs. I have a couple tractors here. Uh, one is slightly different on how I hooked it up, so we'll take a look at both of them and hopefully you guys can get some ideas on how to hook up your gas pedal. Good old fashioned opposed twin rigs engine. Go down here to our throttle setup. See, here's our gas pedal, obviously. Got a little return spring on there, just a bolt through a piece of pipe, welded up here, welded this all up. This is your stop for your uh, idle, and when it's floored all the way, that precisely matches the throttle being open all the way. You don't want to have halfway be floored on your gas pedal and have this extra, because you will end up pushing it and you will end up breaking something. Now. This is kind of how important you see this nut here. I think that's just a half inch threaded nut. We drilled one side of the nut big enough so the throttle casing can go inside. And the other side is just big enough for the throttle cable itself to come through. So that's how we hold our throttle cables right there. For our attaching the throttle to the gas pedal. We'll use a bolt like this, and in between the two washers, we'll drill a hole. And then you just tighten the nut up to the two washers, and it clamps it in there. And it's, you can see right there how we have it clamped in between that nut and that washer. There's actually a hole right through the middle of that bolt. That bolt's welded to the pedal, obviously. Now, let's go up here and take a look. Right here again is a nut. We have a hole big enough for the throttle casing you sit in, and the other hole side has a smaller hole just for the cable to come through. If you look here, it's actually just welded to a shit. There. Right there. It's just an exhaust clamp that we welded the nut on top of. And you just take that little exhaust clamp and you clamp it right to your intake pipe. And then you can run your cable across. Right there's the back side. This piece of plastic here, that's stock. We just drilled the hole a little bit bigger and we put our cable through there. And we just run a return spring to the other side. So now we can watch our throttle action. There's the gas pedal all the way down, there's up. So that completely bypasses the governor. The governor itself is down in there. I don't know how you can see the stubs sticking out for it there. But we've removed the arm and all the linkages off of it. So that's one way we do it on this tractor. I'll go over to the other tractor and we'll take a look at it. This twin tractor. Let's go up front because that's the part that's different. Ah, here we go. See stock, they come with this uh, spot right here. You know, all you gotta do is thread the nut in there and you can hold it right there. What we did is we used the uh, a bolt with the hole drilled in it and have it squeezed between two washers again. But this time I welded it directly on the end of the control of the uh, governor. So if we look over here, right here, the governor is still hooked up, but there's no spring anymore. Well, we have a spring here. This is your return spring. But anyways, it's still hooked up to the governor, but the governor doesn't do anything because we have a direct cable attached to the governor. We're just using the lever arm of the governor to run the throttle. So you can see right there. 
So it does bypass the governor, and it's just a little bit different way that I did it. I prefer the other way. It's a little bit simpler, and it uh, gets rid of uh, a couple things. But this way works too. Then we can go over here. There's the throttle, and we can run the gas pedal. And you see it's directly connected to the gas pedal.